the biggest moments from the season opener, the Lexus Pipe Pro, all on WorldSurfLeague.com. Baron's going to be featured all over inside pro surfing. Huge win to kick off the year on his favorite wave. It's just um, out of timing. And also, Baron, we started pretty quick right here. Nice first turn, setting up for something right there. Yeah, overran a little bit. All of them could just kind of miss reading. Iron on a little bit on the low side, and we see here Emai up and right. Nice cover up right there. Um, yeah, the wave just split up so much. Yeah, nice section from him right there. He kept it a little bit lateral that turn, which the wave was kind of going down the line. He probably expected he was going to be able to do a second turn right there. So, In slabbing conditions, you know. The bigger, the hollower this wave gets, he turns into even more of a favorite. Here's Emai, little fin throw on a tough section to pull off a maneuver like that. And the transition where he knew he belonged on the top 34 as we watch David Silva moving quickly through that first hack. Kind of more placement turn before that section and a quick rapid fire foam climb. This is what Silva is famous for. Let's take another look, Jesse. That was a beautiful wave selection from him. Very strong first turn right here once again. Just perfect timing. Once again, I think he's been a little bit lateral. Um, I've almost felt like he could have finished that wave in the second turn and really part of the bank pretty quick. But that's going to be a good score for him because it was great surfing. And right here you see um, Emai. Nice finish. Yeah, they drive on that. Looking like a fun right setting up for the barrel is Baron Mamiya, and he is going to make it out without a problem. Lays down that whip on the open face. Now Mamiya looking to shut it down. Nice extended hack to step off. Really well done. Yeah. Baron looking to better a 1.0. That's long gone, and he'll be way out in the lead, Jesse. As well, as you see right here, just... You expect him to do very well on the barrel, but this is what's impressive right here for me, just doing that down carve to wipe off the speed and actually um, regain the right momentum on the wave and finish it off strong. That was a great wave for him. Well done. Well, congratulations. On to the, next, on to the round of 32 ceiling. Thanks, AJ. Thanks so much, Cole Hoshman. Happy to have a post-seed interview. Opportunities everywhere. As you see right here, the three surfers are completely sitting in different spots. So I guess it's you against the nature. Baron Mamiya just checking out the left. He's probably trying to identify if he could pull in or go above the lip. He was always an amazing surfer, but he wasn't on the page until he actually became one of the top five. Pulling in with a lot of speed. Pingo will be happy if David makes it out of this one, and he does. Silva redirects in the closeout as we take another look. Yeah, that was a great effort for him. That was the deepest barrel we had so far, and he disappears right there. Somehow he was able to... Um... And he number four, and also wild card, Marco Mignot, as we look at a nice first turn there, just a tap and out for Emai. Nothing changing to his score line with 15 minutes to go and went straight here nice and early and obviously it was gigantic and a bit of weather but always fun to find some uncrowded surf back in the pit with baron mamiya always using that arm bar there's the alley-oop and coming close to an exciting finish yeah that would have been the point of difference if he had landed that because we've seen the judges are actually scoring um too bright and very well today that would have been nice as you see right here nice and hollow wave um, driving through that barrel was a little bit in front part of it but right here beautiful ollie oop just landing a little bit on top just wasn't able to get the momentum coming off of the lip because the wave wasn't didn't have enough lip for him so as he landed he landed a little bit on top of the wave and wasn't able to ride out but yeah as you see it right here just not enough lip pushing him towards the beach. So what that does, it just makes you. Then that kind of went out of style because everyone didn't want to do a double grab anymore. And seeing how risky it is to let your hands free. Here's Silva, who's got a great alley-oop in his arsenal, but just working on just speed hacks at the moment. But nice um, size wave right there. First turn, just setting up down the line for this one. A little bit more of... Just a little bit more possessed in it, pushing the tail a little, a little more, but just the wave was a bit quick, and he was a little late to the party the whole time, unfortunately, for him. As we now watch David Silva with a lot of speed, 
Looking for a big ramp and was motioning alley oop, just got clipped. Uh, I think we have um, Baron will come back to that. Baron now setting up the forehand whip, perfect snap to get this one going, shuts it down with the oncoming section and stays on his feet. 90 seconds remaining. Final minute, what do you think, Jesse? Yeah, just solid surfing from him right here. Nice first turn, eyeing it down this closeout and finish it off with the lip line. Um, very critical. I'm not sure how high this um, wave is going to come out, but critical right there, but down the line. And once again, just the wave was shutting off pretty quick, and he just had to get there very quick. He might does have priority over Silva, so he wisely takes this wave. Big fin throw, and he's down. But he did keep David off that opportunity. Manager Pinga is starting to move on from this heat. Emai will ride his way into that number two spot. And ends up going down on the final turn. 5.2 is that last score will come through. And Baron looking pretty comfortable out in front. 6.17, 5.6, catching eight waves, uh, put together a solid heat.